Hey y'all, I'm Carol Corey, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Welcome back to my Creating Corner. And if this is the first time you visited with me here, I'm so glad you found me. I hope you like what we're going to be doing today and that you'll come back. But it's the middle of the month and that means my Box of Happy came, my Paper Pumpkin Kit. April 2024 and it is Delicate Wings and I have a feeling this kit is going to be something really special. So let's go ahead, get it down onto the creating table and see what we got. Hang on. Okay, everything you needed to complete this project except the scissors to get into the box is included and I mean everything even if you need um, to measure something it's included. All you need to do is have something to cut with. I love paper pumpkin. Um, usually it's cards. Sometimes it's crafts. You can pre-order like one box, three boxes, six months, well three months, six months, a year. If you order a year, each, you know, if you order one month it's a price. If you order three months in advance, pre-order for three months, you get a little bit of a discount. You go for six months, you get a little more of a discount. If you prepay for 12 months, you can actually, um, it's like getting a free box with the discount. But I just do an ongoing subscription and it doesn't matter ongoing or prepaid. You can always pause your subscription or your shipment, but I just always want to make sure that I'm going to get my box of happy. And for each of the online kits that I do sell from my store, whether it be a regular kit or a paper pumpkin kit, I do uh, make a donation to my Great Cycle Challenge, which is a fundraiser for the Children's Cancer Research Fund. And I'll have that information down below, but let's see what's in the box. Delicate Wings. Okay, so we've got our Stampin' Spot, Basic Gray. Every box does come with a Stampin' Spot. Your first box comes with a block on which to mount your stamps. Oh, look at the butterflies. So there's the full butterfly. We've got the wings. We've got some um, just splatter dots. Sending loving thoughts your way. Oh, that's sweet. Everything will be okay and surrounding you with love. Oh, what a nice cheer cards these will make. Oh, I love how you just open up the tissue paper. Tissue paper comes in handy for quite a few other things. So let's get that out of the way. Box out of the way. And all your um, card stock and the dies, the adhesives, they're always shrink wrapped. So that's, so you know, if you're holding your box upside down, you're not going to drop everything, everything out. You might lose your stamp and spot of your stamps, but those will be easy to find. Okay, so let's get this open. I like that color. Oh, that's so pretty. That's a such a pretty color. And the, I, is that one of our new end colors? What? Oh, exciting. Okay, so we have our tear and tape. Tear and tape is great, and really it's good for using with vellum too because you don't see it. And dimensionals, oh look at these envelopes, oh they're so pretty with the foil, the gold foil butterflies on there, oh that's pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh lovely. And Oh, these card bases. Look at that. Oh, how pretty. You know, you don't have to use this just as the directions say. And I'm probably going to show you. I hope I give you some good inspiration because we are going to use some of these materials and go a bit rogue. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? Can't you just imagine all the different things you can do with this card base? Oh, love it. Oh, I'm always here for you. Look at this die cut. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's what a beautiful panel. Oh, oh, 
I want to cry. It's so pretty. I'm always here for you. Oh, I love it. Ah, let me put those right there. Oh, nice. We can get some nice little layering going on. That's nice foil with the speckled foils. I love the foiling. Oh, look at this. This could be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, we can, we, can, we can have some fun with this. <laughs> and look, just regular foil. Oh, my goodness. Oh, is that going to be... Oh, how... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be so pretty. At least I'm thinking that's what it is. Maybe not. I haven't looked at the directions yet. I like to just look at all the materials first and kind of get an idea of what I got because you know I always like to do extra things that's pretty you know we've got those brushed brass butterflies hmm we've got those paper butterflies hmm so pretty oh this card base is beautiful this gray with the foiling that is pretty Oh, look at these die cuts. Oh, I love them. And the banner. Oh, I love them. This is elegant, y'all. Oh. <laughs> these are popped out for us. <laughs> Plenty of butterflies. And here are some glue dots. And some cardboard if you have some other kind of um, crafting you'd like to do. Let me put these aside over here. Okay, here is a nice picture of what our stamp set is. Sending loving thoughts your way. Everything will be okay. Surrounding you with love. And there's the two butterflies and the splatter dots. It's nice that they include this so that if you get like the clear stamp cases to um, keep your paper pumpkin stamps and the directions and the extra materials because a lot of times you have materials but you can get like we do sell the clear um, stamp cases to keep your things in and this makes a nice stamp case insert. If you don't have a, um, a US demonstrator just shoot me a message I'll have my um, website up top or down below you know well it'll be down below but you'll see it every so often up top and I'm here for you if you need some help and if you can't find the clear stamp boxes just send me a text or a, an email through my website and I'll help you find those um, stamp boxes but yeah so they always come with the little stamp inserts that's nice and of course we have our um, directions now you see there are dies that go along with this I ordered the dies but they haven't come in yet but I wanted to go ahead and put the put it together as soon as it came anyway these dies that you can order um, I know the dies for January, February and March were like 12 bucks so I'm, these are just a couple dollars also and they'll do for April, May and June so I'll get plenty of use out of them but here on our directions it tells us what is included in the kit tells us our um, coordinating colors our basic beige which is a new color Basic Gray, Lost Lagoon, Moody Mauve, and Champagne. Yada, yada. And here are the cards. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, y'all, these are so pretty. And inside we have a quick look at the three like the materials for cards one, card two, and card three, and then very detailed directions. And like I said, there's a measuring thing if you need to measure. Oh, this is just, oh y'all, look how pretty these are. Oh, I can't wait to get this started. Okay, let me straighten everything out and let's get going. Okay, I am so excited and ready to get started with the cards, but I did want to show you something. This is our brand new catalog. It's going to go live in about two weeks. If you don't have a U.S. demonstrator, you're going to want one so you can get one of these calendars, uh, catalogs. If you're one of those people who like to hold something and be able to look through it and put little markers and all. But um, 
So if you don't have a U.S. demonstrator, go ahead and shoot me an email through my website and um, I'll be sure to pop one in the mail for you. But let me show you. In here, in this catalog, we do have these paper butterfly accents. Oh, let me get this picked up right here close. Um, here, we've got like the side of the butterfly and like the whole butterfly. You don't really get a good picture of it in this catalog, unfortunately, but they are really cute. And I had ordered some because they were available as an online exclusive under the online exclusives. That's another place you should check out. But I was having a lot of fun with them, used a lot of them up, and then I wanted to like reorganize my little craft cart. And honestly, I thought I had some left, but I cannot find my paper butterflies anywhere. They're white, so you can color them in, you can sponge them in however you want. But I ordered those also. I just didn't order them quite quickly enough to have them for this particular kit. But let me show you. When you have finished using all of your cards and envelopes out of this paper pumpkin kit, here in our catalog on page 111, you'll see we've got foiled brushed gold cards and envelopes. So I'm thinking these are going to be so elegant and you might want to pick up some of the brushed cards and envelopes. Um, the cards, the set, cards and envelopes are only 12 bucks. So I mean, you know, that's good. You get a whole box of them. So anyways, let's see what we got. Let me put the catalog away. It's always exciting when we get a new catalog. Oh, while, we're, while I have the catalog in my hand... Let me find our new, ah, I'll do that later, show you the new colors. I mean, I can do that because the catalogs have been sent out now to people. So, um, it's close <laughs> enough. Anyways, let's get started. This is going to be my third card. Oh, golly, I put my catalog on top of it. And, Okay, as always, I will make one of each project, each card that came in the paper pumpkin, and then we'll go rogue and do some fun stuff using some of the materials and um, see what else we could come up with. But I think these are so gorgeous. I'm going to have to order an extra box just to have these. So, okay, all we need is the foil square, the die cut with the butterfly, now we see these open circles, that means dimensionals. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my take a pick tool. And on the back of the foil, okay, one, two. Okay, so we're going to put a dimensional in each corner and then on the side also so that we have a little bit of stability and on the back of the die cut we will use tear and tape the top and the bottom how simple and easy is this tear and tape is great you don't need to cut it you just kind of put it down and just tear it <laughs> super simple okay so let's take the tear and tape off. Gosh, this is so pretty. Really is just gorgeous. Let me stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. Oh, this would be really pretty as a wedding card with a different um, thing across the bottom. Now, you can just pick them off, or if you just use your take-a-pick tool, you can just kind of stick it through and snag them all off like that. Quick and easy. Keeps them all in a row. And I think I missed one. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this card is vertical. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good crease with my phone folder. And then put this 
Make sure you've got an opening to the right, the direct, correct direction, and set that right in the middle. And oh, that is beautiful. That's just beautiful. I'm always here for you. And on the inside, of course, you can just write your message, or you can always stamp a um, message on the inside. Here I've got this message that came with this paper pumpkin set, sending loving thoughts your way. I'm going to go ahead and using the basic gray, I'm going to stamp it up. Now when you're stamping a stamp, you always put your larger item on the bottom. This is a small stampin' spot, so I'm going to put it um, the stamp on the bottom and ink it with the stamp and spot like so. Okay, I just wanted to get my stamp and piercing pad. This is a photopolymer stamp, so for best practices, you do want to have some kind of padding underneath it because the way the photopolymer stamps are made, they're just poured into like a mold. And you never know, you know, they usually do a really good job, and so the stamps are, um, the molds do get completely filled up. But just in case there's a little bit of a depression, and maybe it's not all the way up, if you are um, stamping on some, unlike this, this is a really stiff foam pad, it's not super mushy, it's actually, think of it like, you know, even if you were doing it on like a paperback book or a catalog, you know, um, but it does have some nice firm um, padding. That way you'll be able to push down and if there did happen to be like an air bubble when the photopolymer was poured, then it doesn't matter. You'll still be able to get good contact. But there we go. I'm always here for you, sending loving thoughts your way. That is so pretty! Oh, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Gosh. I hope I never have to send that to anybody, but I sure am ready if the need should arise. Well, okay. Let's get on to card number two. Okay, card number two looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And we are doing a little bit of stamping for this card. We're using the sentiment that says, everything will be okay. So let me get these materials out of the way. Have my little sentiment thing there. Now this time, you know, I could do either one. I could either do like this and do my stamp across, or I could stamp it this way. Sometimes it doesn't really matter. Okay. Everything will be okay. These, um, I don't know, I would call it a banner. So pretty with the foiling in there. Just such a lovely, lovely set. Golly. Okay. Whoops. So I dropped the butterflies in my lap. Get that out of the way. Okay. Now, this we're just going to use a lot of tear and tape. We'll put some, oh, what do I do with my tear and tape? There we go, right in front of me. Okay, so we're going to put the tear and tape on the back of this angled piece. Just a couple pieces. I don't know why they're not saying one long piece, but that's okay. Um, maybe so you don't have to use quite so much. And we'll put some on the back of my butterflies. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, and 
here we've got the card, the speckled card base. It's almost butterfly time. I know up in Kings Mountain, which is about 45 minutes from me, they're going to be doing a butterfly release in another week. That's exciting. Y'all know the battle with the Over Mountain Men, the Revolutionary War. Yeah, that's right up the road. I actually just went up there on a bike ride on my way back from Virginia. Had my bike with me and I stopped to ride the Gateway Trail and the Thread Trails. The Thread Trails are, I don't know, like 20 connected trails maybe between South Carolina and North Carolina. I do like riding my bike. That's why every September I participate in the Great Cycle Challenge fundraiser for the Children's Cancer Research um, Foundation. Okay, there we go. Got that in the corner, just using the um, tear and tape. And now we're going to put first this butterfly. Okay. Let's put the, I forgot to put the tear and tape on the back of the sentiment. Okay, there we go. Everything will be okay. Yeah. Now put this butterfly here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You know what? It doesn't say, but I think we can always kind of bend the wings a little bit, get a little bit of, you know, have it look like it's moving a little bit. It's a good thing about these bone folders. You can just kind of pull it over the, there we go. Yeah, that's nice. Put that one like that. Oh, sweet! Sweet! No, gotta go that way. <laughs> Started to bend it in the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, how cute! How cute! Everything will be okay. Oh, that is so lovely. I could pull that one down. Nah, that one's fine right there. Oh, how pretty! And again, you can use the same sentiment that I used on the other one, sending loving thoughts your way. Shall we do that? Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead. I always get kind of nervous when I'm stamping the inside if it's like not a panel but part of the card. It's like, oh, I don't want to mess up. You know, if you mess up, you just put a panel over it, but that is fine. Sending loving thoughts your way. I think that is so pretty. So pretty. So card one and card two. Let's move on to card three. Okay, and here is the third card from our paper pumpkin kit. And this is just beautiful with the butterflies flying everywhere. Let me put these things here. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is we do want to stamp the sentiment that says surrounding you with love and the, the full butterfly. Okay, so on the panel that's got the two flying butterflies, we are going to stamp this third butterfly in gray and on this um, die cut we'll stamp the sentiment. Now this stamp set is definitely bigger than the, this little stamping spot so of course we put the stamp down and we ink it all up. You can't really see this ink on here so you might want to 
stamp it on something else just to make sure it is completely stamped up like the corner of your paper and it is just so you know that you really did get the whole thing done oops okay and so we're going to stamp this butterfly just right like that okay Beautimus, and we'll get the sentiment surrounding you with love. And of course, this one, because it's so skinny, of course, you could just put the stampin' spot down. There we go. And using the stamping piercing mat. Now I'm going to clean my stamps real quick using my simple chamois so I don't put my hand in it or my arm in it. There we go. Okay. Get the piercing mat out of the way. And now let's go ahead and get this put together. Looking on the directions, we see the open circles. Open circles are dimensionals. So we want six dimensionals on the back of my big panel. Okay. And I want three dimensionals across the back of my sentiment. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, first thing I'm going to do before I put that down, I'm going to go ahead and um, attach the sentiment across the back up. Ah, off my finger, you. I'm going to put this across here surrounding you with love pretty oh so pretty you get a lot on there sometimes it won't grab the last one I'm not pushing in deep enough there we go this is going to be a landscape card. It's going to go this direction. Okay, let me give it a good crease with my bone folder so it'll lay a little bit flatter. There we go. You see how it's not pop popping up now? And we're going to put this right in the middle. Okay, now if you look on the directions, you'll see it's got solid black dots, and those solid black dots are glue dots. Okay, and I'm just putting the glue dots on the backs of my five butterflies. I've done the other ones. Here I'm on my last last butterfly here. Okay, and get the paper off. Oops. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah! There we go. And this shows you exactly where to put. Just have a bunch of butterflies fluttering about. You know, I might gonna kind of bend these up. I should. I'm gonna do that before I adhere them. I'm gonna get just a little bit of curve to the wings, just to get a little bit of. Um, Flow, flow and flutter, flow and flutter, okay, it's the tag here, the flow and flutter, not 
too much because of course these are using glue dots so they're going to be down flat but you know pretty oh isn't that pretty I think that's cute surrounding you with love and they're all surrounded by all the butterflies how nice well I do like doing these butterflies and I've got some great ideas so let me get some of this cleaned up let me get some materials out and let's see what else we can do with our paper pumpkin delicate wings materials okay well I can't get that video to process so I'm going to split the video into two segments <clears throat> the kit as intended and my alternates so let's have a recap of the card designs that came in the April 2024 paper pumpkin kit entitled Delicate Wings. We have this beauty right here. Oh, I, I really think this is just gorgeous. It's got the butterflies that are a little dimensional. Of course, we can add some champagne um, little glitters and rhinestones to it if you want but I think this is beautiful just as is it's got a little glimmer to it from the foiling on the paper and then this second card that we did has just a flurry of butterflies flying up it I love the splatters and everything will be okay that is a nice um, comforting thing sending loving thoughts your way this is a pretty card I'm going to move this down. Let me show you. If you put something down where you don't want it and you want to move it, I'm going to take my take a pick tool and <clears throat> I am just going to stick it up. See, this is called the take a pick tool. One end of this is pointy. You can get all different kinds of, um, see, one end has this sharp point on it. And you can get different tips to put in here, but I usually keep just this one on. The other side has a putty um, to easily pick up sequins and different little bobs. So I'm going to take this pointy tip out, and on the other side is this spatula. Now look, you can just take the spatula and go right up underneath what you want to move. Now it's been two days. I've tried to process that other video for two days and it wouldn't save. So this has been on here for a while. And I'm just sticking this spatula up underneath and look, absolutely no damage to the card itself and no damage to my die cut. So I'm just going to put another wee strip of tear and tape across the back and I'm going to move it down a hair. This take a pick tool comes in handy quite often. Yeah, I'm going to move that down just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. So anyway, so there we have our card number two from our April Paper Pumpkin Kit. And then the final card we did, oh, with this beautiful blue, um, Lost Lagoon background with the foiling on it and the little flurry of butterflies all around, surrounding you with love. So these are the three designs in the April 2024 Delicate Wings Paper Pumpkin Kit. I just think they're gorgeous. This is one kit that really you're happy to leave as is. But, 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 but. You can always use the extra materials or change some of the designs and do whatever you want. And I'm going to link my video with the alternates right here to this. So I hope you like these cards. If you like this paper pumpkin kit, please give me a thumbs up. And if you had fun, I hope you'll come back. An easy way to come back would be to hit subscribe. So, and if you are interested in a paper pumpkin just to pre-order a box, three boxes, six months, a year, 
or you're thinking maybe an ongoing subscription and you do not have a U.S. demonstrator, I'm here for you. I'll have my website up top and in the description box below. And it's, it's easy peasy to subscribe for your Paper Pumpkin Box of Happy. You just have to get your um, subscription started before the 10th of any month <laughs> to receive it for that month. So anyways, let me get going. Let me let y'all get going. And until next time, keep making the world a beautiful place. Bye.